Hi Eastview, this video is for second and third graders for week two of music. And last week when we were together, we talked a little bit about the string family in our spring song by Vivaldi. So we talked about violins and violas and cellos and basses and any other string instruments that you could come up with. So this week we're going to expand on that a little bit more because there are more than just strings that make up an orchestra. So we're gonna talk about the four families that make up the orchestra. And the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead and watch the Zin Zin Zin, a violin book. Um, that video is up on the music playlist as well. So I'd want you to go and watch that first. Once you've watched that, come back to this video so that it'll make a little bit more sense. If you've already watched the Zin Zin violin video, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about these four instrument families that were part of our book, but they weren't really mentioned yet. We have the brass family, which has instruments that all have the same characteristics, but they might look a little different. So all of the brass instruments have a cup-shaped mouthpiece. You press your lips again them, against them and you buzz to make their sound. And most of them are gold in color. They have a, they're made out of brass. The woodwind family is next. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the brass family really quick and have you listen. So just listen to what the brass family sounds like before we jump over to the woodwinds. Okay, so that's an example of the brass family, and the brass family is made up of the trumpet, trombone, the tuba, and the French horn. So those are the instruments that make up the majority of the brass family. The woodwind family is next. The woodwinds are played with something sometimes called a reed. A reed is a little piece of wood that sits in the mouthpiece and it vibrates to make the sound. Some instruments have them and some instruments don't. You blow air into them. That's why they get their wind name to make their sound. And most of them have keys or holes to cover with fingers. If you're in third grade, we've played a woodwind instrument for uh, a long time now, and that would be the recorder. The recorder does not have a reed, but you blow air into it and you have to cover the holes with your fingers. The woodwind family sounds like this. So the woodwind family is made up of different instruments, the flute, the clarinet, the oboe, bassoon, uh, the saxophone. There's lots of different woodwind instruments out there, but they all have that wind quality with them. So we'll sort some instruments so you can see which they belong to in a minute. The percussion family is next. The percussion family is our biggest family and they have a huge variety of instruments. Percussion family is anything that you can hit, scrape, or shake. So it's more than just drums. It could be shakers, it could be xylophones. Um, there's all sorts of different percussion instruments out there. A lot of them we have in our music classroom at Eastview. There are pitched and non-pitched percussion instruments, which means 
that some instruments are able to go high and low. Those are pitched, like a xylophone. Some are non-pitched. They don't go high and low. They can't make different notes, like a drum. So the percussion family sounds something like this. Percussion instruments. Drums. Tambourine. So that's just a small example of what we might find in the percussion family. We could list percussion instruments all day long, but we would be here forever. So then I'm going to jump over really quick to the string family because we already talked about them last week. String instruments have strings on them that are either plucked with your fingers or bowed with a bow that has hair on it made out of horse hair. Their strings vibrate when they're rubbed or plucked to make their sound. So string instruments include the violin, the bass, the cello, other instruments could be a guitar, a ukulele, a harp. So we had some of those instruments in our Zin 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 a violin story and I'm going to see if we can sort them into the different families. This first instrument here in the middle is a trombone. The trombone is long, it has that long slide, it's golden color, has a cup-shaped mouthpiece, and you have to buzz your lips. This would go in the brass family. The next instrument, kind of hard to see, I'll move it up, is also a cup-shaped mouthpiece. You have to buzz your lips, and it's that gold color again, brass. This one is shaped a little bit differently. It looks like a circle. It still has that gold color and that same cup-shaped mouthpiece. So yes, brass again. <clears throat> now we've changed instruments completely. This one usually gets held underneath your chin. You play it with a bow. It has four strings on it. It's in the title of our book. If you said violin, that's correct. And it goes in the string family. Here is a cello. Cello is almost like a bigger violin. It gets played between your knees because it's larger. There's an end pin, a little needle that gets set on the floor so that you can balance. And you also play it with a bow like he is. Again, has strings, belongs in the string family. This next instrument was the flute. The flute is long, it's silver, it has keys to cover with your fingers, and you blow air into it, wind. So that would make it a woodwind family. The next two are a little tricky to tell apart, so I'll try and put them side by side. We have a clarinet on top here and an oboe. They're both black. They both have keys that they have to cover with their fingers. You blow air into them. The only difference really is that the clarinet has a covered mouthpiece. It's still black on top. The reed sits behind it. It's covered. On an oboe, you can't really see in my picture, but the reed sticks out on top. It's open. You put your lips right on the reed itself. Both of those instruments would be part of the woodwind family. <clears throat> This is a very big instrument. You can't tell from my picture, but it's usually about six feet tall. 
it's big and it's low. The reed sits over here where you put your mouth on it and you have to cover with your keys, with your fingers. So this would also be a woodwind instrument, the bassoon. And last but not least, we have the harp. The harp is an instrument with a lot more than just four strings. The harp has many strings and you have to pluck them with your fingers to make their sound. So that would be a string instrument. We didn't have any instruments from our story for the percussion family, but we have plenty of percussion instruments in the music room that I know we've already experienced with. So, to continue learning about your instruments, I have made a worksheet that goes along with Zin 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 Violin. You might want to go back and review the video a little bit so that you can do the counting, but this worksheet will help you learn how to count the different number of groups that we heard in the story, as well as be able to match each instrument with its name. We'll work more on sorting them into families and listening to different types of families next week. So your work for music this week is to finish that worksheet. And if you want to go back on that um, SFS Kids website that I showed you last week with the string family, you can experience all the different families with those instruments and click around with those bubbles. I'll see you next week.